Okay, girls, today we're going to make a pin cushion, and it's a quilted pin cushion, and I'm just going to show you another way to make a, a quilt square. So what you need to do, and I sent you lots of fabrics, so you pick and choose the fabrics that you want to make your pin cushion. And what you have to do once you've decided is you've got to cut out eight three and a half inch squares. These are three and a half inches on all sides, three and a half inch squares. And this, and then you need two six and a half by three and a half. So you need eight that are three and a half by three and a half. And what I did was I just chose two fabrics and cut out two squares of each. Three and a half by three and a half, six and a half by three and a half. You only need two. Once you've cut them out, and be precise with your cutting because with quilting, Precision is everything. If you don't cut them exact, then your quilt can come out all wonky. And once you've got them cut out, then you're gonna take one of each color, or you know, at least four of them, and you're gonna draw a, a pencil line from one corner to the other. So you can see my pencil line goes from here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. Okay, so go get your cutting done and come back when you have finished. And I will show you the next step. Okay, so now that you've got your square triangles cut and marked, what you need to do now is kind of mix them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to move this one up to this one, this one over to this one, this one down to this one, and this one over to this one. Now they're all different, so I won't have two groupings that are the same. And what we're going to do is put right sides together. And then you're going to stitch on that line to join your two fabrics together. So I'm going to move the camera over here. Oh, this is where I got to get my shorter pipe. Okay, hold on. I got to make a little adjustment here. Okay, now you're gonna take that pattern piece that I sent you, and you're gonna center it on this piece. It's a six and a half by three and a half, and you're gonna cut out a circle. Fold it in half, obviously, because you're only gonna cut half a circle. Make sure you lay this pattern piece on the seam. See how I have it laying on the seam? Don't put it on the edge, put it on the seam, so that you get a full five and a half inch circle when you cut this out. So I'm just going to cut it out. All right, so there's my 
the bottom of my pin cushion. That's what this is going to be, the bottom of your pin cushion. And now I should have a circle that's five and a half inches in diameter. Okay? You're going to do the same thing with your quilt piece. You are going to find center. You are going to lay the center of this circle, find the center of it. See, I can push that right in there like that. On here, make sure you follow it along the edges. Then you're going to open it up. And then you're going to pin it down. So you can cut it out. You want to make sure that the center of the circle is where all of those seams came together. Okay, here we go. All right, now I'm going to cut out this circle. Okay, there's my circle cut out. I'm gonna take the pattern off. And I bet you can't guess what the next step is, right? So there's my circle with my all my points right in the middle. Got it laying out nice and flat. Now I'm gonna take this bottom piece and I'm gonna line up one seam on this side, folding one to one side, one to the other and pin them and then I'm going to turn it around to the other side and I can't do that on this side because of the way I stitch it over there on the other side so I'm just going to line up those two seams sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and I'm going to pin it I'm going to put in a couple more pins to make sure everything's laying flat And I'm going to stitch around the circle. Quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, now I've stitched around it, and whenever you sew a circle and you want to turn it and you want that circle to lay nice and flat, you need to clip it. So you need to go around and clip in towards your seam. Don't cut through the threads, but just clip in up to that seam so that when you turn it around, these will all fold in nicely. Just an extra step and it just makes your product a lot nicer. Okay. 
It's hard to snip it where there's a seam, so just avoid those areas. There we go, I'm all the way around. Okay, so now through that hole that you left in the middle, you're gonna turn this around. And just kind of run your finger along the seam like this and it kind of helps to open it up and make it lay flat so you're kind of finger pressing that that round seam all right now i need to get set up to stuff so i'll be back in a minute all right remember that cone that you made when we were doing the iPod stands, well, hopefully you saved it because you need it again. So um, get your cone out and you're gonna put it in here. And once again, we're gonna use the walnut shelves to stuff our pin cushion. Get a little cup and start pouring it in. get it full. Which isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, but just keep working in it till you get it full. Oh! Here we go, making a mess again. Okay. Let's try this with this. There we go. It's hard to hold on to it. it. Keeps slipping out of my fingers. This does make quite a mess, but you want to fill it up. You want a nice round pin cushion. So do whatever it takes to fill it up. Okay, it's getting harder and harder to get it in there, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more in. Okay. So what I'm going to do to puff this up more, because I want it really full, is I'm just going to take a little bit of polyfill and I'm just gonna fill in the bottom using my hemostats if I can find them. Here's a pair here, I sent you a pair, so use your hemostats and just fill up the bottom with polyfill so that this is nice and puffy because we're not gonna be able to get any more nutshells in there.
There we go. See how nice and puffy that's getting now? Much better than it was. And it also makes it a little easier to sew it up because your shells aren't going to start falling out on you. And you get a nice round shape. But the nutshells are great for pin cushions. The pins slide right into it real nice. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the top. Nice and round. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. And now, of course, you've got to slip stitch this shut. And I've showed you several times how to do it. I'll show you again. You're going to take your thread, you're going to make a knot, you lay it over your finger with the needle over it, like that, wrap it around three or four times, pinch it, and slide the needle through, hanging on to those loops. And when you come out, you got a knot. Take your needle and slip it up through those, the seam. And just to be sure, I like to take a couple of small stitches just to make sure that that knot's gonna hold. Nothing worse than getting all your stitches in and then the knot lets go. All right, and I'm just using a single thread. You don't need to double it up. Single thread works fine. And I'm gonna ladder stitch it across. So I'm gonna slide it underneath the fabric And then directly across, I'm going to go underneath the fabric again. And then directly across again into the fabric. Directly across again. And then I'm going to show you directly across again. So now do you, can you see how that looks like a ladder with the rungs going up the center? That's what it should look like. That's a ladder stitch. And when you pull it, the threads disappear inside and it looks like a machine stitched seam uh, closure. All right, so do that. Go in one side, if I can get it in there, there we go. Up, crossed. 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 Again. And I'm at the end. So I'm just going to bring it out in the original seam from the machine. And now I'm going to tuck that loose thread wherever that came from underneath. And I'm going to pull it shut. And there you have it. It's all closed up. It's a nice seam on there. Now I'm just going to take a couple of small stitches to knot it up. And hold it in there. And then I go down through the knot and I bring it out someplace else on the body of the pin cushion so that the tail of the thread is buried inside and I cut it off. And that's all there is to it. So there's your pin cushion. Now we're gonna do one more thing to dress it up just a little bit, but I gotta go find one. I gotta find a button. I'm gonna go look for a button and I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, I found a button that looked pretty good with this one, and then I just stitched it on. I went all the way through to the back side, and I stitched it on with a piece of embroidery floss, and then I tied a little bow in it, and I put some white glue on the bow to make sure that the knot will hold. And when that sets up, it'll be nice and hard, but you can see how nice and firm the little pin cushion is, and it works great. You can stick all your little pins right in there. Perfect. All right. So, hope you had fun making yours. I had fun making this one. And tomorrow we'll move on to the next project.